I've connected other devices to this Wi-Fi network, and all of them are working perfectly except for this computer. Although, it shows I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, but it says no internet secure. This means that I won't be able to access the internet for anything that requires an online connection. In this video, I will show you different methods to solve this problem on our computer. To save time, let's jump right into the tutorial. What I usually do when I encounter this issue is, I first open the control panel from the start menu and select the network and internet option. Next, I click on network and sharing center. From there, I click on change adapter settings on the right pane to open the network connections window. I select my Wi-Fi or network adapter, right click on it, and choose properties from the context menu. This opens the properties window for that network adapter. I then select internet protocol version 4 and click on properties to open another window for internet protocol version 4. In this window, I've previously set an IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway while updating my router's firmware. This IP address is typically used in local networks for accessing router settings and managing connected devices, but it may prevent internet access since it isn't a public IP address. So if you check your network properties and find an IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway set, you should clear all of them and click OK. Alternatively, you can select the first radio button to obtain an IP address automatically from the network which will allow you to access the internet without having any problems. So if the previous method does not work for you, try this second method. First, open the Start menu and select Settings. Once the Settings window opens, click on Network and Internet in the left pane. In the right pane, click on Proxy. Check if a proxy server has been manually set. If it is enabled, turn off the proxy server and then click Save. You should be ready to surf the online connection on this computer. The command prompt offers an alternative solution when you encounter this problem. To begin, launch the command prompt with administrative privileges from the Start menu. Once the command prompt window appears, enter the command Netch Winsock Reset and hit the Enter key to reset the Windows Socket API which manages network communication between your applications and the internet. After that, type in netch int ip reset to restore tcp slash ip settings to their default configuration and correct DNS errors. Next, type ip config slash release to instruct your computer to drop its current IP address assigned by the DHCP server which is your router. The next command to enter is ipconfig slash renew to request a new IP address from the DHCP server after releasing the previous one. Finally, type in ipconfig slash flush DNS to clear your computer's DNS resolver cache. Delete stored DNS entries and prompt Windows to query DNSS servers again for updated information. Once you have completed these commands, restart your computer and reconnect to your Wi-Fi, and everything will function correctly. Connect to a wired internet connection or any alternative internet source other than a Wi-Fi connection. Next, open the Device Manager from the Windows Start menu and expand the Network Adapter section. Right-click on your Wi-Fi adapter and select Update Driver from the context menu. Windows will prompt you to choose whether to update the driver from the internet or to install it from your computer. If you have already downloaded the driver setup on your computer, you can use that option. If you don't know how to install a driver manually on Windows, click on this card to watch a video tutorial on that process. Once you have finished installing the driver, restart your computer and try to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network to see if the issue has been resolved. The final approach to resolving this problem is to use the built-in network troubleshooter. So, where can this troubleshooter be located? First, open the settings on your computer. If you are using Windows 11, 
once you open your settings. Choose System from the left sidebar and then scroll down until you see Troubleshoot. Click on it and proceed to Other Troubleshooters. Here, you will find Network and Internet. Run it to initiate the troubleshooting process and identify and resolve the issue. For Windows 10 users, after you open Settings, head to Update and Security. Then, click on Troubleshoot and select Additional Troubleshooters. From that point, choose Internet Connections and run the troubleshooter. If these solutions assist you in resolving the no internet secured issue, please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, enable the notification bell, and share the video with others. Looking forward to seeing you in future tutorials soon.